I know how I'm supposed to feel, you know, the morning of the show. And I'm, I'm always very energetic and I'm ready to go and I'm ready to fight. This morning, I'm so tired to the point that I actually feel like I'm about to die. I feel bad for people who didn't get to witness what Ronnie was in his prime. Videos and pictures don't do no justice. I was trying to be the best in the world. Ronnie was standing in my way. So every year it was a battle against Ronnie Coleman. I knew that was the only guy that could possibly beat me. This is a guy that lifted weights that nobody else could lift. So if you're not willing to go to that place, do you don't have a chance against him. Ronnie, he had a goal in view. He wanted to be the number one bodybuilder in the world. But of course, eventually, with the massive weights that he was lifting, those discs can many, many times uh, pay a pretty heavy price. Doctor said uh, he's gonna go in and uh, perform a surgery in which he's gonna take out screws, cause all they're doing now is just causing me pain. And when I say pain, it's a lot of pain. It's like 24-7, it never stops. I won't lie, I cried the first time, you know, and especially when the hips went, and I mean, he had to use a walker and all that. That was, that was tough for me. Right. He's still working out, obviously. I don't think he'll ever stop. It's probably not the best thing. But for his overall well-being, I, I think he needs to. They're called oxycodone. A 30 milligram that I take about four, sometimes five a day, every single day. This is the highest potency you can get. 